What's up you guys, Robert here again for another Tovar guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do another request by Lennon Rondon. This is Apology by Alessana. Thank you Lennon for, re for requesting this request. Anyways, it's not that hard, let's get right into it. Okay, so the intro, um, it has this, like this repeating arpeggiation line. You're going to want to plant your first finger here on the ninth fret on the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string like that. And then you're going to put your 3rd finger on the 11th fret 3rd string like that. And then you're going to get your middle finger and you're going to put it on the ninth fret of the 2nd string like that. Okay, And then with your pick you're going to do this. So you're going to be going on and off with your third finger, like that. So you're going to go fourth, third, then fourth, third without the third finger, and then fourth, second, fourth, third with the finger, fourth, third without it, then fourth, second. That's the pattern, right? third and second string with an upstroke like this. Up. And the fourth always a downstrokes. Down, up, down, up, down. That way it's all alternate picked, you know, and it's more efficient like that. Okay? And that's pretty much how you play the intro and the chords to the next part are the chords that are being played over this. G, A, and B minor. It, it, it'll probably it's probably on the form of power chords too, so you can just do it. G power chord, A power chord, and B power chord over that progression, and then it goes into the verses. And this, and let's get into how to play the verses. So for the next part, uh, you're gonna need three chords. You're gonna need a G power chord, an A power chord, and a B power chord. And this is the way they strum it. It just repeats. Okay? You want to palm mute it, you know, to, to kill the sound after each of those um, strum patterns on each chord. So it'll be up, down, up, down, up, and then palm mute. And you can let it go of the pressure here on the notes so that you can cut it off smoothly. Let it go and palm mute. Let it go, palm mute. Uh, full tempo. Does that about four times. And above that, there's this. Um, um, these notes. It goes uh Okay. And uh, so you're basically going to be bouncing off notes on the third string. It's on the fourth fret, sixth fret, and seventh fret. And then these other high notes are five, three, two on the first string. But it's you're gonna do the fourth fret, and then let it go like that. And then the sixth fret, and then let it go like that, and then the seventh fret, let it go. You gotta be able to let that third string ring out a little bit, so you gotta kind of, um, kind of like flick it off a little bit to get that. Or if you let it go fast enough, you know. That's kind of the way I do it. Is I kind of flick it just a little, just a ever so slightly, to so that that G note is real pronounced and loud as you're playing it. So. Okay. Do that slowly. And then it 
goes into the next part. So this next part is pretty much an extension of that verse. I'd, I'd still consider it part of the verse. Uh, it's the same chords, G, A, and B, the power chords, except it's going to be on, starting on B. It'll be, and it'll be six strums each like this. like that on the A. Actually, it does two sets of six here on that B. So it's like that and then it'll pause. And above that, it's still those notes like like from before except without the 5-3-2. So it'll just be same notes over that just without the 532. That's it. And then it goes into the next part, which I consider the chorus. So let's get into that. So the next part is it's gonna be the same chords except it's gonna add an F sharp now, which is on the second fret six string of that. Okay, so all power chords. Um, so it's gonna start on the B and it'll be like four, I hear like four strums, it's kinda of hard to hear like how they're exactly they're strumming and articulating it, but it sounds like four strums just like this. That's it, okay? And then there is uh, uh, some notes above that that go like this. Okay, and that is open second string, third fret second string, fifth fret first string, third fret first string, second fret first string, and then fifth fret second string. to alternate pick everything you know I don't know if you guys can see the pick but just like that and then after that um, it gets into the verse again and uh, then some other parts so let's get into uh, whatever else there is okay so after um, that it actually goes into like the verse chorus and the intro again, and then at the very end of the song, it does uh, like a bridge section, like the ending. It's kind of strange. So the first, uh, so the chorus is going to be a B, um, A, G, and an F sharp, just like before, uh, and it's going to strum it differently though. It's going to go. So it's. And you're gonna you gotta bounce off of this. Uh, actually off of the chords while you do it so that it cuts off and it sounds choppy like this you know like that twice and it fades out before the second time uh, gets to finish um, and, and also the very first time you'll notice that the drums drop out and it plays you know the guitar plays that on its own on that B chord and it sounds like there's a delay pedal with one with one or two delays on it because it only does like and then the next strum sounds like it's a delay at least to my ears but you can still strum it if you want but and then it's like a little a slight echo slight echo and those are all the parts to to the song and that's how you play apology by alisana so uh, anyways you guys uh if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos please make some requests don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm going to put the links down in the description. And anyways, that's all for today, you guys. I'll see you guys next